Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and for today's video, we will be doing a review of the Canon G7X Mark III vlogging camera. So this is actually what I'm using right now, um, and I'm excited because I have been using this for about two weeks now. I've uploaded a few videos using the Canon G7X, and um, I've fallen in love with it. So I will be sharing with you some of the things that I super love about this camera after this. Okay, so we are back. Again, my name is Kathy. On this channel, we do reviews, unboxing, and arts and crafts. So I've decided that those are going to be the three main topics of my channel. I have been doing YouTube for such a long time, but it's always been halo-halo, anything goes. Um, and now I've decided that I'm pretty good naman ata, I hope, I think. Or if I'm not good at it, I want to get better at it. So I want to focus on doing reviews. And this will be anything and everything under the sun, but it's a review. And then unboxing, since we do get a lot of stuff sent to us, thank you. Um, then, you know, why not unbox? I know a lot of people take um, joy um, from it, so I want to share that joy with you guys. And then arts and crafts, because arts and crafts is my first love. Look, uh, I have my pens, pens, I have my arts and crafts behind me. Um, I just love arts and crafts, so I want to share more of that with you guys. So if you, that those are the things that you also enjoy watching, I hope you can subscribe, like, and share. Any kind of interaction is super appreciated by small YouTubers like myself. And for today, again, as mentioned during the introduction, we will be doing a review of the Canon G7X Mark III. Um, a lot of people have asked me, is it worth the money? Is it worth the budget? Is it really good? And I said I can't answer yet because... I'm about to just, you know, experience it. Um, this was around two to three weeks ago, but now, you know, I've been using it for quite some time. I've kind of explored and I've uploaded some videos. I've checked how it is without a mic and amazing, amazing capture of audio. I don't have a mic yet. When I do have my own Canon G7X Mark III manifesting, then I'll definitely get a mic to improve the audio. Uh, but for now, I'm actually pretty pleased with the audio. So that is the one thing that I love about the Canon G7X Mark III. It is the audio. Even with an electric fan right in front of me, uh, even with no microphone, no external mics, anything um, connected to it, it captures the audio perfectly well. It is so nice. And then the second thing I love is the screen. So as you can see, it captures everything nicely. It frames it. I feel like, I know you know how like professional YouTubers when you look at their channel, it's like really placed well, angled well. Everything is like perfectly fit. When I use the Canon G7X, it comes off as that. I think it's because of how the system is um, arranged, set. Um, but it gives off that vibe of you know this being a professional youtube channel even though it's not because obviously i'm a mom uh, who stays at home and then talks to the camera <laughs> so there um so that's the second one it's really the vibe that it gives and you know when i check the screen i feel like ooh, parang I'm professional parang i want to make sure that the attic is always maayos well pardon the chicheria on the side um but almost always, it just gives off that feeling na, ay, ang ganda tingnan. It looks really nice. So if you're also a, an up-and-coming YouTuber, or if you're a YouTuber who's looking for a new vlogging camera, then definitely, yes, I would recommend the Canon G7X because it is amazing. So audio, screen, output, it's very easy. There's Wi-Fi connection. Easy for me to transfer even large files, ha? Because sometimes I would shoot in one go, and that's 10 minutes. I've used before a, a, a vlogging camera. It took so long to transfer, like, so long. But this one, it's so easy. It, it doesn't take, like, it's not super fast, okay? It's not, like, in a snap. But, hindi ka maiinap. Like, you wouldn't get impatient waiting for your files to be transferred. Even if you've taken a lot of photos and videos, it's okay. And then now, 
um, obviously I don't have like lights here I have like the overhead light the normal light I have some natural light coming here but I think malinaw naman when I'm on screen it's not you know like dim it's not like reddish orange or like dark na parang horror movie feels uh, so that's another thing that I love about the Canon G7X Mark III so would I recommend this yes was it easy to navigate? Yes! Thank you! So, that's another thing. Um, I've done tech reviews in the past. If you've seen any of my videos, you would know na I'm the not-so-smart tech reviewer. Like, there was that one time I reviewed a laptop and it took me two minutes to find the power button. Uh, so, I'm that person. So, anything that's complicated is a no for me. So the Canon G7X Mark III is not complicated. It was very easy to navigate. It was very easy to learn how to go about using this. So I think that, you know, um, for people like me who don't have patience, who don't have the know-how, who don't have the time to really go through the manual and read everything, this is actually a really good camera because it's very easy to learn. Um, it's meant for people who just really want to, you know, take photos and to take videos and to just vlog walang etros, walang maraming drama, walang maraming complicated things that are meant for the professionals but this one gives an output na professional yung dating that's what I like about it you know it's really for the newbie but the output um output the output <laughs> the output gives that professional feeling which then makes you feel really good about you know what you're doing so love this about the canon g7x mark III. okay so this is my very short review again i'm not like super techy and i can discuss the mga ano ba ito sa the 8.8 dash 36.8 millimeter one is to 1.8 to 2.8 something <laughs> mamagamagagalit you know, would you believe that I actually took up photography in college? <laughs> but we used manual kasi. So I'm not familiar with all these digital things. Um, and I really, really hated discussing the aperture and all those things before. Um, so yes, I did take up uh, photography under Vicente Grillon, one of the best teachers I've ever had um, in the LSU. Um, it's just that I did not retain those technical parts. <laughs> Of the photography class uh, so please don't hate me Sir Vince if you know by any chance you get to see this uh, ID99 <laughs> so there so um, again thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed these kind of reviews it's always going to be casual here I don't think I'm ever gonna be in that aspect now I'm super technical because I also know that there are a lot of people who really don't get the technical reviews na tech tech talaga diba? there are people who like that but then I believe there are more people like me <laughs> who just kind of likes the casual review and you know just tell me what it's for does it serve the purpose that i want and that's what i'm here for so thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on my next video bye